Hi, I'm Shivali. Welcome to SalvateSpace.com. Process of selling your plastic scrap. We have all come across articles about how plastic is bad for the environment. We have heard about the cows dying and kilos of plastic being found in their stomach. There are many shops which have started charging for the plastic carry bag so that people would bring their own bags and reduce the consumption of plastic. But there is an alternative, we can be an active part of plastic recycling. There are a lot of recyclers who accept various types of plastics for the purpose of plastic recycling. By doing so, we are saving the environment alongside making some extra money. The various types of plastic widely available are PP, that is polypropylene, HTPE, that is high density polyethylene, LDPE, that is low density polyethylene, LLDPE, that is linear low density polyethylene, nylon, PC, that is polycarbonate, GPPS, that is general purpose polystyrene, HIPS, that is high impact polystyrene, PBT, that is polybutylene, terephthalate, ABS, that is acrylonitrile butadiene styrene, PVC, that is polyvinyl chloride, HMWPE, that is high molecular weight polyethylene. These are some of the most common varieties of plastic available in the market. Most of the time, we will not be able to identify the type of plastic we have. So it would be best in order to contact a professional to determine the type of plastic. Some of the most commonly sold forms of plastic include scrap pieces, buckets, cutoffs and runners. Though most of us would accumulate a lot of plastic covers, we would need an extraordinary large amount of them in order to sell them commercially, as there is a minimum amount which needs to be present before you can sell your scrap. Different types of plastics fetch a different price. Therefore, it is essential to sort all the plastic according to their category. The color of the plastic can affect its value, so it is essential to sort light and dark plastic before recycling it. The presence of dirt and other impurities can also diminish its value, so it is essential to clean the scrap before taking it. Labels, stickers and other non-plastic components must be removed in order to increase the value of the scrap. Businesses which produce a lot of scrap would find it more effective to have a sorting system established than individually collect and separate scraps each time. These can have tie-ups with recyclers who can regularly take the scraps in exchange for money. For more educational videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be happy to see you as a registered user at www.salvatespace.com. Thank you for watching this video. I'll meet you again in the next video.